What's going on guys? Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you another outlet shopping video and this is one that I wasn't planning on making especially so soon after the last one that I just put up the other day which that was the first one in this series. The response on that video was not what I was expecting. You guys really really seemed to enjoy that series and asked for more. I'm bringing you more very soon after because again I wasn't planning on this but I stumbled across some interesting stuff. So if you guys do want to continue seeing this series on the channel drop a like on the video that would be absolutely fantastic. Now as I'm making this video it's been a very scrambly day for me. It's May 31st as I'm recording this and I've been kind of preparing all day to leave. I'm leaving for London, England basically in an hour from when I'm making this video. Uh, there's an Adidas uh, press event that's happening so I'm hoping to get some cool content out of the trip, vlog a little bit, um, hopefully do some cool stuff there as well. So expect some content on the channel regarding that trip very shortly. Anyways, I've been scrambling all day trying to get stuff done because I am going to be gone for a couple of days and uh, I had to get some food. So I decided to go out and get some food and very nearby to the place I was going to, there are local Nike and Adidas outlet stores. So because I'm crazy and I have to go see, I decided I would walk in and see what they had because they're different from the outlet stores I showed you guys in the last video a couple days ago. So what I ended up seeing was actually pretty interesting. I went to the Adidas outlet first and keep in mind this, these are Canadian outlet stores. So uh, the prices are obviously listed in Canadian dollars, not US dollars. I'll tell you the converted US dollar price. But for those that don't know, which you wouldn't need to know if you weren't Canadian, one Canadian dollar is worth about 75, 74, 73 cents American. It changes within a couple cents, but uh, that's basically the, the equivalent of, uh, I guess, the Canadian and the US dollar at the moment. Anyways, I walk into the Adidas store and they have their miscellaneous takedown models. You guys can see the video, what they have. Uh, some older colorways, some more recent stuff, but it's basically the 0.3 and the 0.4 models. Nothing high end, nothing super, super interesting there. But they did have the very recently released, in fact, as I'm making this video, they came out today, the Dust Storm Pack colorways of the X17.3 and the Ace 17.3 on sale, marked down already. I thought that was really, really strange because most online retailers and most soccer stores in general don't even have this stuff in stock yet, but somehow the takedown models are on sale already at the outlet stores. And I'm not sure if they just showed up today or they were there on sale prior to the official release even. I found that really, really strange. So the X17.3 in the Dust Storm Pack colorway was on sale for the equivalent of about $62 US, and then the A17.3 was on sale for about $74 US. So they were pretty cheap overall, not super, super discounted, but a decent amount of money off, especially considering they just came out today. Um, then I headed over to the Nike outlet where they did have some pretty good deals on, on higher end stuff. There is stuff that they don't normally have. Very rarely do I actually find soccer stuff at my local Nike outlets, but they had quite a bit today. So they had the Soft Ground Pro Nike Magista Obro 1. Those were on sale. And keep in mind all the shoes that were on the kind of the main wall that I pulled out with no box top, those were extra 30% off. So the Soft Ground uh, Pro Obro ones were on sale for $72 US, which is really, really cheap for a pair of Obro ones. They had the Nike Magista Orden 2s in the black and orange colorway. Those were on sale for about $62 US, which is really cheap as well. They had Magista X Proximo Turfs uh, in the silver color, which is actually a pretty cool looking shoe. Those are on sale for $56 US, which is super, super cheap. And then they also had the Vapor 11 in the dark lightning colorway. So obviously one of the more recent ones, those were on sale for $103 US. So basically less than half price, which is really good for a pair of Vapors in general. It doesn't even matter what the colorway is. And then they also had Nike Tiempo Legend 6s on sale for $67 US, super, super cheap. Uh, they only had those, I believe, in the one size that I pulled, which I think was a 13, if I'm remembering correctly. They also had some other kind of soccer-related stuff, Superfly sneakers, as well as the Tiempo sneakers. Um, those weren't really all that great in terms of price. There was no extra discount on those. And then they also had the purple and orange Nike Mercurial Vapor 11s uh, for 200 Canadian. No extra discount on that. But the normal Canadian retail price is over 300. So it's actually a decent deal even at $200. Anyways, unlike the last trip, I did actually end up buying some stuff this time around at the Adidas outlet just because I needed some newer summer clothes. So I bought four pieces of apparel, no footwear. Um, but I figured I'd show you guys because it is kind of interesting. Maybe maybe you think this is interesting. I guess you don't have to watch this part of the video. But I picked up this t-shirt right here. It says Adidas Prime 
on the actual label itself. Uh, and it's just a super soft material. It's got the Adidas logo there on the side of the arm and it fits really nicely. I was really happy with uh, the quality of this t-shirt. So I got it here in dark gray and I also got a white one. It was buy four items, get 40% off everything. So everything that I'm showing you guys, I got for basically $100 Canadian, which is the equivalent of about 75 bucks US. So this one's all white, just with the Adidas uh, logo there on the sleeve. I thought these were nice, just simple, something you can wear pretty much every day. I also got these shorts, which I thought were pretty cool. Just kind of a sweatpant style material in, in a gray with the Adidas stripes there down the side. It's got pockets, it's got the Adidas Originals logo right there. It's got a butt pocket as well. Just something comfortable that you can wear during the summer, very casually, of course. And then finally, the last thing that I got was a sleeveless shirt. Uh, this is mostly just for the gym, but I thought it was pretty cool. So it's another Adidas original sleeveless shirt. It's got the Adidas logo there on the front and then some variations of the Adidas logo also on the front and on the back, which I thought was pretty neat. Black and white in color, pretty straightforward. All right guys, so that is it for this outlet shopping video. Again, I was just super surprised that they had Dust Storm Pack colorways on the day of release at an Adidas outlet store. That's the main reason why I made this video so soon after the last outlet shopping. But again, I do plan on making more of these. I'm thinking possibly once a week, possibly every two weeks. It really depends on what I end up finding at the outlets. If I really don't find anything good or anything soccer related, it's not really worth making a video. So it's gonna depend very much on what I find, but if I do find good stuff, you can expect an outlet shopping video. Again, if you enjoy the series, wanna see more, support it with a like, that would be fantastic. If you have any questions for me, leave them down below in the comments and I definitely will do my best to get an answer out to you as soon as I possibly can. Subscribe for more of these videos as well as reviews on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information linked down below in the description as well. Other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video, and as always, thanks for watching.